What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sport Gold. We're back with some more Punching Great Raven, and I thought I'd give you some updated advice on what you should be doing in this event because essentially in the very beginning, what I was doing was, oh, well, actually, I haven't done it, but what I was planning on doing was farming a whole bunch of these region HE4s so that way I could get a bunch more patent memories. Now, my alpha is completely complete. I've already finished up doing uh, the resonance and all my patent memories, all that. But whenever you take the materials from, well, whenever you recycle three memories, you're going to have enough materials, memory chips, to be able to get the specific memory of your choice. And that's what I was opting to doing. However, the reason I was doing that is because I wanted to eliminate some RNG and I wanted to make sure that I was going to get the Da Vinci set. Because that set's actually very, very beneficial, especially for your support characters like your lives. And what I found out was... Uh, shout out to Bobo in my Twitch chat last night. But in the missions, you're actually going to end up getting your Da Vinci's from here. You'll actually get them from here. Matter of fact, I got a slot one and four Da Vinci in here by completing these missions. And, you know, like, for example, right here, you know, you, you got to do uh, level 45, you know, memory or equipment. And you got to do it 18 times. You'll finish this and then you'll get these Condolinas. And I've already gotten other Condolinas from doing this. So they're going to essentially give you the memories that you need, especially if you're looking for those Da Vinci's. And maybe you're in a similar situation like me where maybe it'd be better to do something else like just whenever you're farming in the frozen darkness, just use your region HE4s to farm all these other materials like cogs, memories, uh, your overclock materials. Uh, maybe, you know, all these overclock materials right here. Maybe it would be better to do that. And I tell you what, man, I had like, you know, 6,000 of these or what have you. And I ended up pretty much maxing out my Karenina. Look at this, level 45, max overclock, everything. And on this one here, we'll just go ahead and do this. Enhance it, select all. Want to make sure we don't delete anything we shouldn't delete. And boom, shakalaka, max overclock. All these are maxed out, and that was just from one day. Now, I did farm in the Arctic Shop or the Arctic Night for a few days to rack up enough Region HG4s to be able to do this, but, I mean, this is this is pretty quick as far as how fast you can level up your memories. And for each memory you level up or for each weapon you level up, you're coming that much closer to getting, what you, to getting those memories from the missions, right? Which is pretty awesome, and that is spectacular. So, like, now my plan is to keep leveling up memories that I'm actually going to use. Now, now my Karenina is pretty much maxed out. I don't have her new weapon, so I'm kind of screwed there. And my Alpha is pretty much maxed out on everything except for the resonance on her Darwin memories. But I am using SS Live. So, right now I'm just working on my physical team. But a cool thing about this is I got the Da Vinci set, so I got all four piece set. And you really want the four piece set. Because that way you'll get all the benefits from it. It's just an amazing set. Freaking nuts. Oh, man. This extra attack by 20% when all three characters are on the field is crazy. That's just super, super powerful. And a really, really fun set. And by the way, just to let you all know, my score in Warzone did go up. Just by equipping a... Like, these these cards, these memories here are, were, are at a lower level than the other memories that I had equipped on Live before. And yet, I was still able to do more damage, which is pretty amazing, my friends. And so what now I'm going to do is I'm going to level up all four of these babies. I'm going to start using all those region HE4s, getting all my materials from the Arctic shop, and level get all these maxed out to level 45, fully overclocked, hopefully. And then I'm going to end up needing a couple memories right here, which for B-Live is going to be the Phillips memories here. These babies right here, because whenever you get a heal, then your your next healing effect will actually increase your physical damage by 10%, defense by 10% for five seconds. So it's a great, great set for support on B list. So you have that Da Vinci set, and then you'll have this set right here. And since we know that S Bianca will be the next S rank character, lightning based, she's going to be the big dog for lightning uh, damage. Well, then you can actually use the Da Vinci set on a live who does lightning right she's a great support for s bianca and you can just run the da vinci on a live and then use the guinevere set instead of the phillips set on a live because this set actually heals for 10 percent right and you increase the elemental damage and resistances of the healing target by 10 percent for five seconds so it's pretty much the same thing as the the phillips set except it works for elemental damage which is perfect for s bianca who is a lightning based character 
So once you have the Da Vinci set and you have the two Phillips and you have two Guinevere's, you're going to have complete sets for both your B-Lib and A-Lib because again, A-Lib is 80% lightning. She's going to be an insane support for your S Bianca. So that's pretty much my plan right now. I'm just going to try to level up all those Da Vinci cards, try to use all my region HM fours to farm as many materials as I can out of the Arctic shop. And then if I can get a hold of the Guinevere's or get a hold of a couple of Phillips, start leveling them up. So that way I can finish these missions and get more of these memories here. And the Condolina, it is good for S Bianca as a second rate set. It is good, but the bad thing about this set is it just increases basic attack damage. It's not increasing everything, so it's kind of like, it's not really the best. Uh, the Frederick's actually better instead of this set, so I might, I'm not saying I will do this for sure, and I'm not telling you you should do this, but I might end up using these here because I actually already have five of these things. I actually already have five of the Condolinas, or four, I'm sorry, I already saw you have four of them, and I'll get two more when I level up a few more memories from the missions. So, I mean, I could easily get two Phillips or two Guinevere's, whichever I decide, I'll probably go with Phillips because right now I'm trying to develop my physical team. And I could easily get, I'd have six of these, I could just use, recycle all of these, and I'd have enough memory chips to get two Phillips or two Guinevere's. So I might end up doing that because again, the Condolina, it's a decent set, but it's just increasing your basic damage. It's not increasing everything, which is really what you want for your characters. So I just wanted to throw this video out at you guys in hopes to maybe, you know, help you out a little bit. Maybe you're in a similar situation as me and you're really trying to level up those memories. Because if you do, if you are leveling for your memories and you're, you are, and you are using all those region HD4s and those Arctic shops, you're going to be able to get all those rewards and resources from the missions. I mean, I'm getting everything from the Arctic shop, the cogs. Uh, extra memories, the overclock materials, what have you. I'm getting everything from there to level up my current memories on my characters right now. So again, hopefully this will help you out out there. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link will be in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.